Oops, you forgot to send that follow-up email again. You just found a hot lead that was left unassigned last week. Oh, and you have no idea why that high-value op has been stagnant for a month. Oversights happen, but in many cases they can be prevented. How? With workflow automation. It's a powerful tool in Insightly CRM that allows you to automate notifications, tasks, and triggers, update fields and objects, and fire integrations using the data you already have in Insightly. As you can imagine, there are thousands of ways you can use workflow automation. Whether you want to notify the sales director when an opportunity over $25,000 is opened, or if you want to create a workflow for employee onboarding that involves multiple meetings, tasks, and departments. You can set up workflow automation to be as simple or as complex as your business requires. For this video, I've picked a common use case for many of Insightly's customers. You just got a new lead in and you want to automatically send a welcome email as soon as the lead is added to Insightly, followed by a task reminding the rep to call three days later. Let's get started. We'll begin by going to System Settings. If you're an administrator, you're familiar with this page. If not, you'll need to get admin access in order to follow along. In Settings, we'll go to Workflow Automation and create a new workflow process. We'll name this one New Lead. You can enter a description if you'd like for all our overachievers out there. A good CRM hygiene practice is to outline your criteria and automated actions so other admins have documentation of your process. Next, we're going to choose the object that will trigger this process. Think of workflows as a series of tasks you or your staff need to complete in order to achieve an objective. They can be described in statements like, if this happens, then do that. So in our example, we'll select lead as our object type so Insightly knows to monitor your leads for specific criteria. More on that in a minute. We're going to uncheck the active box to disable this trigger while we finish setting it up. We'll come back to this and enable it later. Lastly, you'll get the option to tell Insightly when to monitor the record. For our case, we want Insightly to trigger every time a new lead is created. We'll click save and move on to the next step. Now we'll enter the criteria that will trigger actions in the workflow. Criteria are the rules that Insightly will evaluate your records against. Let's name our criteria New Lead California. We'll set our first evaluation criteria field to state slash province and equal that to California. Let's assume there may be cases where a rep creates a new lead after they've talked to the prospect. If the prospect has already been spoken to, we won't want to send them a welcome email. That would be bad. So to avoid this, we'll create another evaluation criteria with a lead status field equals to not contacted. Let's save this and move on. Once your criteria is met, actions can occur immediately or at a scheduled day or time. Actions can be anything from updating a record to sending an email or for accounts with both Insightly CRM and Insightly Marketing, you can add a prospect that is linked to a contact or lead onto a static marketing list. In our case, we want to immediately trigger an email to send after the lead is created. So we'll choose Send an Email from the Actions dropdown and name it New Lead California. We want the email to come from whoever on our team it is assigned to, or the responsible user as Insightly calls it. It will be sent to the lead's email address, and here you can select an email template that you may already have set up in Insightly, or write your own. We're going to select our beautiful and thoughtfully written New Lead California template, give it a quick review, and save. Now you can see under Immediate Actions that we have the New Lead email ready to go as soon as the lead is created in Insightly. For actions that will be triggered at a specific date or time, such as our Day 3 follow-up call, we'll want to add a time trigger. We'll change the trigger date to three days after the workflow criteria trigger date, and now you can see we have a new section for another action. We'll select Add a Task from the dropdown. Let's name this follow-up call, assign it to the user responsible, and save the task. Now, if we navigate back to the workflow, we can tick the active box so Insightly can get started taking over these manual tasks for us. Because this feature is so powerful, we always recommend testing out your workflows once you have them set up. So I'm going to add a new lead here in Insightly. I'll input California as the state, and ensure the lead status is not contacted. Once that lead is saved, we'll wait for that email to come in. You've got mail. And there it is. Our welcome email action has successfully been triggered when the lead record was created. 
Now we can just wait three days for that call. All right, all right, I won't make you wait any longer. If you wanna see all of the actions triggered by your workflows, you can check out the workflow queue. Here, you'll be able to view, filter, and cancel pending actions. Keep in mind that Insightly will automatically delete any pending actions that are scheduled when a record is changed to no longer meet the criteria of a workflow and when a record with pending workflow actions is deleted. And there you have it, one of the many use cases for workflow automation in Insightly. If you want to learn more about automation, visit the Insightly Help Center, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or reach out to an Insightly team member. Thanks for watching.